What does he write, <laughs> Hebrew? He, he writes uh, Mijikai, uh, Kaga, uh, Hayat, Teyu, Vudu. <laughs> yep. And that's like a Bedo Do, uh, Mitai. Um, I think it's like Miji Kai, like short. Yep. Cool. cool. So it's like short hair. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you guess my context. Uh, I guess like it, it felt like short hair. Or... So rather than felt, that'd be Sawadu or the Fudedu we saw earlier. This is actually the subject of this. Well, I guess felt was the word here. Um, haiteru kind of means to be growing. So the hair growing out of the putradon is mijikai, in other words. So in English, we just would say it has short hair. That's all we would say. We would use has to convey the it grows this meaning. You know what birodo means? Birodo mitai. Yeah, I think that birodo is like velvet. Yep. So how about the mitai part? Uh, probably like, is like, I don't know. <laughs> yep, it's like velvet. Okay. The short cool. hair, it's, it has short hair that feels like velvet. And Myers, onegaishimasu. Uh, no? so, what are you doing? And he asked. Perfect. And I'm going to give you the next line as well. Uh, so I'm not sure about the oh is that all one Tashka Meta? Yep. Tashka Meta from Tashka Meru. Uh okay, okay, okay. Uh for some reason I'm used to like just Tashka by itself, so that kind of threw me off. True, from like Tashkani. Uh, so the, I guess he, he's just describing that he's checking mm. and writing it down. And then, uh, he, he's, but this is a really weird sentence. So while he's writing that, <laughs> uh, he's continuing, I, I guess yep. just He's going about his business, and I. it sounds kind of to yeah. me like he's ignoring Annie. Kind of. Um, so Annie goes, like, what are you doing? And he goes, um, the things that I have confirmed, I will be writing it down. And while writing, Jack continues. So it's just saying that he's talking while writing. So most of the time, you write something, you're quiet, then you talk, then you write something. This is just letting you know that he doesn't stop writing while he answers her question. So while writing, he continu he's continuing to talk, which is um, impressive multitasking. Um, our first line of this paragraph is going to go to kitchen. Um, so this is uh sekai do with the naka. Sekai do boop. Sawadu. We're the first living we're we're the first human humans to touch a living per petradon in the world. Yes. Exactly. Perfect. And next is, uh, I think it's a little too long for Feverish, so I'm going to give it to Myers, and Feverish will do the next line. Date Yokuryu ya Kyoryu wa Chikyu ni Jinjuri ga umaru zutto mai ni setsumetsu shite ru hazu nan da kara. So, that is the pterosaurs and the dinosaurs. 
Jindri, is that humanity? Yep. Uh. Were were Ningen? Were they Umaritad when the Chodyu were there? No, which is I kind of figured what they were describing. With so that's the why Zuto we have Zutomaini being described yeah. as ni, uh, Kikyu ni Jinyui ga Umareru Maini, isn't it? And then the Zetsimetsu Shiteru has it is like I wouldn't have expected them to. Definitely not. Well, like the Hazu is the wouldn't expect part that it that is kind of wouldn't expect. But um, so the thing that's confusing you is what is the point of the sentence? So the point of the sentence is that Yokoryu and Kyoryu have more zetsumitsu shita. Um, so datte, you were a little confused how you translated datte. You did it as so, but it's more like because. So the sentence before this was, we are, pro we are the first people to ever touch a living Kuturadon. He makes a statement. And then it goes, because these guys have Ditsumitsu shita. Um, when did they Ditsumitsu? It was Jinyui ga umareru mai ni. This a long time before humans. Were born on Tikyu. You know what Tikyu means? Uh, the globe. Yep. So Earth. So in other words, it says be so, because uh, the, these dinosaurs, guys, they were destroyed way, way long before humanity was born on Earth. Hazunandakara. What does that part mean? Uh, well, the the hazu is the like the expectation portion. Yeah. And the nandakara is kind of like the the it's just another because in this case yeah it is it is just this is like the because that gets em, uh, embedded in the sentence and this is like a vocal because uh that's, that's why you need both and yeah has you just kind of say it's like i'm pretty sure that they were all destroyed way long before or it should be basically it's used with a very like accurate conclusion has it like it, it should be true that they all were gone extinct long before humans were born. And feverish, onegaishimasu. Yes, uh, Jaku wa uh, puteru don mo uh, yoku kansatsu shita. Yep. Uh, Kansatsu. Kansatsu. Yeah, we haven't seen that in a while. Uh, before it was shizen o kansatsu was the phrase. Shizen o kansatsu. And that was when we we're talking about activities that boys like, like Jack. He liked hono yomukoto and shizen o kansatsu suru koto. And my hint oh. is that Miru has this kanji. I think it's observation. <laughs> it is observation. Yep. So Jack observes the putradon in a yoku way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I could have sworn this was on, on the vocab sheet. I'm just forgetting it right now. It it definitely it was, but at the same time, it wasn't on a recent vocab sheet. So kansatsu would have been in, in chapter one. So I didn't repeat vocab. So yoku is um, the same word as e. It, it's the exact same word. It just when you add ku to it, when you're modifying a verb, it, the e turns into yo. So it means good. So in this case, he observes the putradon very well. He puts a lot of effort into observing. So he's not doing a lazy job. He's doing a good job. That's and good. And um, I'll read it for you. Atama no hone ga tosaka no yoo ni nobitte iru.
The nobody here is stretched, right? Yes. However, this is being used metaphorically, saying like stretching up into the sky. It's it's being used to express length. Rather than the act of stretching, which that verb can also mean. And tosaka is the thingy that is on top of chickens, the, called a crest. The skull bone stretched like a crest. Yes. Exactly. So in this, I'd, I'd say it's it went, it soared upward like a crest. Like it, it's like it's the thingy that goes upwards on the chicken head. <laughs> So it's saying it's it's upward like that, but it's using stretch to express that upwardness, which is a little awkward to translate it as stretch, I think, in English, unless you added like stretch to the sky or something, stretched up, like it just it's being used to express the upward motion. Um, and I'm actually going to do feverish. Want to guys from us? Yes, uh, Nagasawa, um, Yaku no ude yo di. Sukoshi uh, Nagai. Right. So do you know Nagai? Yes, it means long. So Nagasa is the exact same word, but we turned into a, it into a noun by, by dropping E and adding Sa. So long turned into length. Yes. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it just says like length and comma. Uh, but I know like um, Jack's arm. Yep. Uh, I guess like Sukoshi means like a few or like a little. Yep. Yep. So like oh. Jack's arm was like kind of short. <laughs> yeah. In terms of length. <laughs> That is kind of what's being expressed in here, but you're a little confused about what exactly the topic of the sentence is. So the subject is the length, that's why there's wa here, but the topic is the putteradan. So the putteradan no atama no hone, which was tosaka no yoni, this ne. The nagasa of that hone was. You, 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 was Jack no ude yori skoshi nagai, which you did translate right. You just were confused about what exactly we were describing. Oh, okay. The arm is a little bit smaller than what? Than the the pterodons. <laughs> yeah, or, but not uh, not its arm. Its head bone. Yes. <laughs> so the direct translation would be the length of the bone thingy was um long with a little bit longer than Jack's arm. So Jack's arm. Large. Yeah. <laughs> um and Myers, on the Uh Kuchibashi wa nagaku to gatte itte peregin ni chotto nitte iru. So uh the bill of yep. the pteranodon was uh, long and tapered to a point, and it resembled a pelican. Perfect. Sort of, it, it resembled a pelican a little bit. Just a little bit. Toto. Toto is ne. Um, and carpeted kitchen. I want to give you these two lines together. Um, chino wa dono kurai kana. I wonder how uh, intelligent it is. I think it's smart. Yep, that's basically what it's saying. Um, Annie is kind of saying it more like, it's like, <laughs> it's obviously super smart. It's kind of more how she's <laughs> saying it than I think. She's saying it like she's really certain. She's like, this is my baby. Of course, it's super smart. <laughs> what are you even asking that for? You know? And um, 
さあどうかな、so、Jack goes, hmm, I wonder about that. And、um, feverish, お願いします。Yes,、uh, こいつの,のみそは、まめつぶぐらいの、uh, はずだ。Nice. Do you know what Hazu meant? I saw that earlier with Myers, I think.、Uh, like disconnected, maybe? <laughs> Hazu kind of means like it should, he's making a conclusion, but he's like, it's a smart conclusion, is kind of what Hazu is used for. So it's, it's used when you're pretty certain about something and you, made, you did everything you could, you did research and stuff, you're like, you're pretty certain about this. But you're not God. So you're like, oh, I could be wrong. So he's like, I'm pretty sure that koitsu no, no mizo.、Uh, do you know what koitsu is referring to?、Uh, I guess like, the, like this. <laughs> I'm not too sure.、But、maybe、uh, like being smart. Mean, <laughs> so koitsu does mean this. That's a more. Accurate way of translating it. And the this we're referring to is the putteradon. So, and the putteradon has no mi so.、Uh, just no on its own could easily tell you what this is. You don't really need the mi so, really, not that much. Because、um, we're talking about the chi no, which is the intelligence of the putteradon, right? So, if、yes. we're talking about intelligence, what do you think no means? Probably the brain. <laughs> yep. No means brain, and no mi so means brain tissue. So he kind of specifically talking about the, the, everything about the brain, basically, the, the physical brain. And he's talking about the size, the good eye. It's ame tsubu. I mean, mame. <laughs> mame tsubu. Oh, he's calling it a speck. <laughs> it is a speck. And it comes from the word bean and like drop, bean drop, so spec. <laughs> saying, I don't know about that, Annie. I'm pretty sure that guy's brain is the size of a spec, you know?、Yeah. Over. <laughs> and、uh, carpeted、uh, kitchen, you'll be doing this line, which is, So na koto nai, watashi ni wa wakaru wa. それからプテラダンに向かっていた。そんなことない。私にはわかるわ That's not true. I can understand it, she said, turning towards the Putradan. I think, so it could be saying that, but I think it's more saying, I know it. Like, I know for a fact that Putradan is smart. Rather than understanding the Putradan, she just, she's saying, like, I know that he is the smartest baby in the world, is kind of what she's saying here, rather than, I can understand the Putradan. But yeah, everything else is perfect. Yeah. Easy. It's, it's when you look at the words, they're like, that, that is what the words are saying, but just context y.、Uh, Myers, what does Annie say?、Uh, so, the name of the name of the name of the name of the n a m o t h e n a m e of the name of the name of the name of the name of the n a m ジャックは兄の言うことに構わずノートに書き込んん Probably 書き込んだ Oh yeah, right there. I couldn't see it. Something was in my way.、Uh, so basically, paying no mind to what Annie was saying,、uh, Jack continues to like write into his notebook. And feverish, what does he write in his notebook? <laughs> like this?、Uh, no what? Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, so like, 小さいですね小さい
uh, small so, brain. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it seems like the brain is small. He's using so here so that if he's false, it's not like, oh no, you lied to me. He, he adds vagueness. So it seems like the brain is small. <laughs> no, what? Tasso definitely is ignoring what Annie's saying. Um, and um, Beavers, I'm actually going to have you do this one as well. Okay, that's fine. Jaku, uh, um, on oh, <laughs> I keep messing up with the katakana, but. Uh, it's definitely like pteridon. Um, yeah, putera no don. Uh, okay, putera no don. There we go. <laughs> well, and then moichi do miteita. I'm not sure what moichi do is. Moichi do. So ichido, ichi, oh, ichido, oh, that's the wrong kind. <laughs> ichido, this guy right here. This means one and then time. So ichido means mo ichido means one more time. Mo ichido, which is mo is almost kind of like more or already. Mo ichido, one more time. Jack does what? Uh, he like looked and asked a question, or like looked well, he and said said something. So Ita allows us to say to lay, leave vagueness, whether or not he's specifically talking to somebody or if he's muttering to himself. It just has the meaning of saying words out loud. And Myers, what does he say out loud? Uh, uh so he's like this thing maybe it's uh i wonder if it's a mutation exactly um the total zen is like weird it's like a sudden mut mutation but i think he means like sudden as in like first board with the mutation um and then and he goes because annie doesn't know what this means Nani sore? Ani ga kita. So she goes, what is totsuzen um, hen-i? So they're being super nice and defining this big ass word because <laughs> they're like, that is a big ass word, totsuzen hen-i. Um, and kitchen, that's going to be your job. <laughs> going to tell us what does that word mean? Tutsu no ikimono kara totsuzen. Katachi ga seishitsu ga mataku chigao. It's when a living being suddenly changes its appearance in nature to make a completely new creature. Kind of. Uh, uh, the only difference is the shison umaridu, I believe, which should be more like giving birth to, to like a descendant. So it's saying that in a normal animal, suddenly there'll be some kind of change and a totally different baby will be born. So it's literally just defining what um, normal animal mutation works. So like how, uh, unless you're really religious, how um, evolution works. That's Tosa Zen Heni. They just define what that is, which is just literally evolution. So you get one thing, it has a baby. Baby's a little bit different because of different um, 
because of sudden changes in the DNA. Ah, da, da. Here's a putradan with this humangus hone atama. Atama no hone. Eto. And Myers, onegaishimasu. Uh, so at that time, the Tyranodon, uh, I think that shook his neck. Yes. So in English, we say atama here, but in Japanese, they say kubi. So if you say atama o futta, People in Japan will be like, what are you talking about? Chotohen, eh, doshite. I wonder they if they would Kubi. take that as a no instead, or if they just wouldn't understand at all. It, it just means shake your head. Kubi o futta. No, no, I, I know what you're saying. I'm saying I wonder I, like what they would think of that. <laughs> they would think it's wrong. <laughs> That's all they, <laughs> uh, the, they, they, they can add um, like tate or yoko to insinuate which direction it puts. It's the same in English. They just they use kubi rather than atama. Hmm. The, and then uh, and he uh, was laughing and and says the I guess next line. Yep. So at that time, Putradon shakes its head, which causes Annie to laugh and say this um, feverish. Yes. Uh, order. Uh, to zen pen? Uh, close. <laughs> so this, this is a word that does have katakana for it, but Annie is only six years old or something. I don't really remember. So she doesn't actually know the kanji in her head yet for it. So because she doesn't fully understand this word, they're writing it in katakana. So this is the word we heard earlier, which is to zen hen i. Okay, and then uh, Nanka uh, Janaita. <laughs> so remember, the Putradon just shook its head. It was like, ma! And he laughed. Ha ha ha. Hora! Totuzen hen i Nanka Janaita. So, what is this te right here telling us? Seems like it's part of a previous sentence, maybe, or another. Kind of, yeah. It's 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 quotation to. Um, so she's quoting Putradon. She say he's translating for us. Putradon shakes his head, and what it means by that is that um, itu sorry, totuzen hen i janai. This man. That's what the Putradon said. Uh, like I just can't remember what those sounds came from. <laughs> so totsuzen means sudden and hen e means like mutation. So together it's kind of like the word evolution basically or new I don't know if there's a special word for it in English. So like new 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 creature born from parents. <laughs> um so she says hora, which is like look. It said that it's totally not some kind of mutated variant Putradon creature. It's not some bird that that laid its egg and bam, Putradon. Um, and Myers, onegaishimasu. Uh, じゃあ、こいつは何なんだ?ここは一体どこなんだよ? The nananda is throwing me off a little bit here. I think what this is saying is, like, what are you, and and yep. where did you come from? Where the, where the heck did you come from? Yep. What are you, nananda? It should be like uh, nani nanoda. So it just what, and then it's just um, like explanation, kind of. So yeah, perfect. Yep. What is it? And where the heck and who are we? And kitchen. You'll be getting this line. Annie wa put 
寺のどに顔を寄せて聞いた。And this is 聞いた like 質問 rather than 聞いた like 耳。<笑>トランドドンは兄をじっと見つめ、くちばしを開けたり、閉じたりした。まるで兄弟な、兄弟、兄弟なハサミのようだ。Uh, so the t r a n a d o n was staring the entire time at Annie、yep. and kind of opening it, closing its、uh, beak. And、yep. it, it very much resembled a giant pair of scissors. Perfect. And next is kitchen.、Um, 私たちに何か言おうとしているみたい
Seems like it's trying to say something to us. Yep, exactly. Yep. And it's kind of using yo to shiteru tends to show up when something doesn't actually get to happen. So since they're unable to communicate, they're using iyo to shiteru. Um, and feverish, what's going on right here? Jaki wa ani ni kamawasu. <laughs> yep. Uh, do you know what this do is doing right here? Uh, like I, I would say it's part of uh, the verb. It it is like part the, of the kamau. verb kamasu kamawa kamawa kam kamau kamau is the verb. Um and it 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 modifies it. Do you know if it's saying yes come out or no come out? Oh, uh, <laughs> so is it come out yeah. or come out uh, nai? It, it sounds like, you know, it's, it's saying no. <laughs> yep. Come out nai <laughs> is where come out is. So zu gets added to the negative form of the word to mean without doing. So without doing kamau, do you have any idea what kamau might mean? We saw it earlier, but I read it, so I went super fast. Um. Kamau means to like pay attention to something. So without paying attention, what does Jack do? Jack wa ani ni kamawazu. Uh, it's kind of strange like I don't really see him doing anything like it yeah that's, says, that's like... so so Jack um without paying any attention to Annie that was my call because you have you don't have the rest of the sentence for what he does uh what he does is this part right over here which is noto ni kakikonda uh what does noto ni kakikonda mean oh uh he, he like wrote down on a note yes and now you get to read. What did he write in the note? Uh, wa, uh, wasami no yo. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, I guess like its mouth is. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> like hasami. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, I swear I. <laughs> I should know this. Uh, well, ha well, earlier we saw hasami when we were talking about how the kuchi would ake, um, aketari and tojika, to tojitari. Oh, yeah, it's like scissors, I think. Yeah, hasami means scissors. So, um, paying any no mind at all, Jack writes, the mouth is like scissors inside of his notebook. And then, ani ga mochido kita, and ani asks a question once more. And we will be stopping right here so that we have a page to continue on.